Hey guys, welcome back. This is me, Mr. Foz HD, and today we're going to be looking at some more stuff in the latest update of the new, um, the the new Vault uh, mod pack. So let's jump into our base, and today we're going to be looking at the Ultimate Energy Cube, the Ultimate Battery that you can't see at the moment. I'll change texture pack when we look at that. We're also going to be looking at the uh, insulated superconductor uh, wire and the ingots, the high voltage alloy ingots and the high voltage wire and the advanced battery. These are all new things in uh, the latest patch. If if they're not new then they're updated. And this is what I'll be looking for uh, looking at this episode. So, let's get into it. Let's first look at the advanced battery. This is um something that's um made uh, been added um I don't know just oh, let, let's have a look. So it's been added we we used to just have the uh two types of batteries, the normal battery which hold which held uh, a thousand kilojoules and the elite one which held the three megajoules. Now we've got the advanced battery which is sort of in between these two at two megajoules and then we've also got an ultimate battery at five megajoules. So I'll be back with you guys in a second once I've got some some materials and when I'm in another text pack so we can see the actual battery. <laughs> okay so this, for this uh, advanced battery we're going to need two glowstone and five, oh that's t uh, silver, we need five tin I've got six, but oh well. Uh, so, and then we're gonna scroll to our uh, crafting table on our power tool and make this. Oh uh, no! What was it then? Oh, it was silver. Ah, oh, should just picked up the silver. Okay, so we will get the silver instead. We need five silver, not six this time. There we go. And then we'll put the silver like so. And there is our advanced battery. So this battery holds. Uh, two kilojoules, uh, two megajoules. So I'll go and fill up in a second in my elite energy cube. Uh, so next we'll want the ultimate battery. I haven't changed text pack just yet because I'm going to leave the ultimate battery till last. So next we'll be looking at the t different types of wires. So we'll look at the superconductor first. Uh, to make them, we need uh, superconductor, superconductor dust. We need some silver, some gold, and eyes of ender. So we're going to need some blaze rods. Well, we've got an uh, eye of ender there. We're also going to need some ender pearls. And then we're going to need some gold and some more silver. Okay, so now we're going to combine these with. Oh no, we have to make blaze powder first. And we'll com combine the ender pearls with the blaze powder to make eyes of ender. And then put the gold in a diamond shape and the corners silver. There we go, and we've got our superconductor dust. Now, when you smelt the superconductor dust, it will make the ingots. One dust makes uh, four ingots, or is it three ingots? We'll have to look can't quite remember which is quite handy because you get quite a lot out of your materials it's four ingots that's pretty good now I've already got some ingots in this chest here quite a lot <laughs> I must say and to make the uh, insulated wires uh, these wires here uh, it says you have to use a wire mill them. now there's no other option so that is very weird and I decided to make a wire mill to test out and yeah, it wouldn't work. It it says you need you need 12 megawatts, so I supplied that with 12 megawatts, and it just wouldn't make it for me. So unfortunately, we can't actually make the wire. But I can tell you what this wire is, which I'll say a bit later on when I'm looking at the other um, uh, wire too. So we're gonna start looking at the other wire now, uh, the high voltage wire, and I'll tell you their properties after once I've made them both. So high voltage is you need some more dust, you need some iron instead of gold this time. So we're going to need some more eyes of ender. Oh god, I sort of wasted what I had, but oh well. And we'll stick that next to the ender pearls and we've got ourselves seven more eyes of ender. Okay, so now we need some uh, iron and some silver. Where did I put the silver? Oh dear, we've used up a lot of our silver, so I'm going to have to go and get some more silver. Um, so I'll be back with you guys in a second. Jesus, I've gone through these items quick. Okay, so I've got my uh, silver now. So we're going to combine the eyes of enders with the iron in each of the corners, as we did before. The silver in a diamond shape instead of the uh, gold this time. And that makes ourselves this dust. Okay, so there we go. We've got quite a lot of dust now. We're going to put that in the furnace and cook this up. And I think we'll be able to make it. So we need high voltage. Uh, insulated wire so that you use by putting three down the middle and that makes six high voltage wire that's pretty good and it seems I think one of these makes two ingots is that let's have a look 
Oh no, we make four. Okay, even better. So we're going to put these down the middle now, and that makes us 12 high voltage wire out of two, uh, well, uh, six ingots. Uh, we've got some more now. And you combine this with leather to make yourselves insulated uh, wires. So let's do that. There we go. So we've got, uh, what's this? Uh, insulated HV wire. Okay, so this is that. And I'm going to get some um, uh, superconductor wires and then I'll show you guys what the properties are of them. So I'll be right back. Welcome back guys, so now I've found out that you can actually make these superconductor wires. I was wrong, yes, you have to put a whole stack at a time of superconductor ingots into the wire mill. It drains a lot of power, so I'm going to be using my uh, advanced battery that I've, used, I've made um, from, oh look at that, it's draining a lot from this episode. And basically it would take quite a long time, drain a lot of power, so actually I might take my infinite battery. And, oh that's my tinker table and we'll wait for these to make the ingots. Now it looks like it's going to take a very long time so I'm going to have to wait quite a bit of time for this. Is it? Cool, it's taking an extreme long time. Well first thing I'm going to look at the properties of the HV wire. So basically it has a resistance of 100 milli, milli ohms um, which is the uh, unit of resistance and then we have a maximum amps of 20 amps so uh, through the wire you cannot put anything more than 20 amps. Now that is very high. I mean if we look at the other wires for example, oh, so um, the it's very low. I mean, not high. Um, you can only put 20 volt, uh, 20 amps through it. Now people think, oh, it's very high voltage, so I use this. But I use silver wire on my things because um, it has a maximum amps of 600, which well that speaks for itself really. Um, so yeah, that's why I use uh, silver. Now we look at the superconductor and the superconductor basically it is the best electrical conductor in the game hence <laughs> hence the name the superconductor superconductor ingots and wire and it is used to make the uh, best and the most powerful wire uh, in the game so as you can see here the maximum amps it can take is 2147.48 and it's mega amps not even normal amps <laughs> so yeah that's that's something so if you have some, oh there it goes it's going a bit more now. Um, so if you have something like a uh, a fusion reactor maybe you might want to use these superconductor um, wires because it won't lose any power over a long period of time like if you place it all the way along a big distance it won't lose as much power as if you would with a, the insulated HV wire so that's the wires I'm going to leave that uh, until the end of the episode hopefully that will <laughs> make something I'm hoping and we're going to put our battery back in here and yeah as you can see this is the finished product it's a nice yellow looking wire yeah yellow yellow yellowy looking wire um so i'm going to um change to the actually let's look at the energy cube first so this energy cube step up from the elite energy cube yes the elite energy cube can hold 50 megajoules that is a lot and this can hold 100 megajoules so that's nearly double and it gives out the double as, uh, double the voltage of the Elite Energy Cube at 480 volts. So we're going to make one of these next. Uh, for this we're going to need a Elite Energy Cube, so I think I've got one down here. There it is. We're going to have to use an empty one, not a uh, real one. In testing I found that out. You can't use, I said a real one, I mean a um, full one, like with full stored energy, you can't use one of them. We're going to need some energy tablets, so we're going to need some enriched alloy, some redstone, and some gold. And we're also going to need some atomic cores which means dirty obsidian dust or obsidian dust, osmium dust, diamonds and more enriched alloys. So I'm going to go and make some a load of enriched alloys. Okay, we're going to need quite a bit. We're going to need some iron and some redstone. Okay, so let's get some iron and let's get some redstone. Oh, we don't have much redstone left. We're going to have to uh, uh, get some more redstone soon, but this should be enough because I know that I've got some in my components chest. There we go. We got five. Okay, that might not be enough actually. We've got two in here. Okay, yeah, we're going to need a bit more, so um, let's stick this stuff. Actually, let's, let's have a look. How much do we actually need? Type in ultimate. Okay, so we we need, let's see, we need two per energy tablet, so we're going to need uh, four just for the energy tablets. So let's make the energy tablets now. We need some gold and some more redstone. So I'm going to get some redstone, and I'll be right back. Wow, we need a lot of redstone for this. There we go, so we've got a lot more redstone now, lots more enriched alloys, there we go, 20 enriched alloys, that should be enough. 
Uh, if not, we'll just make some more because we've got the materials now. So uh, we're gonna need we got the, we, we're gonna need these, this redstone as well, and we're gonna need some gold. So I'm gonna nab some gold, and we're gonna put it down the middle, two either side of this, and then two in each corners of redstone. And there is our two energy tablets. Okay, so now we need the atomic cores and some uh, obsidian ingots. So I think I've got some. Yeah, I've got. I need two, not three. Two obsidian ingots. And we're also going to need, let's have a look, we need some dirty obsidian dust, some osmium dust, a diamond, and enriched alloy. So I'm going to need four diamonds. Three, four. We're going to need four osmium dust. I've only got uh, five, but that'll do now. We've got some dirty obsidian dust, which we can't see. And what else will we need? Let's have a look. Uh, we also need some more enriched alloys. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of that stuff. We're going to make one of these just to start, so we're going to need that like that. The dirty obsidian dust that you can't actually see at the moment, but don't worry about that just yet. And there is one atomic core, so I'm going to make some more atomic cores. I'll be back when I've got, uh, let's see, we need three more, so I'll be back when we've got four. Okay, so we've just got enough enriched alloy. We're going to put the osmium dust in, and then the last thing, the diamond. And there we go, our fourth atomic core, yes. Okay, so now we, we are able to make our... Uh, ultimate energy cube. So we're going to put the atomic cores in each of the corners with the elite energy cube empty in the middle. We're going to need the energy tablets each side of it and up and down the osmium, uh, the not the osmium, the obsidian ingots. And there is our ultimate energy cube. Okay, so now we're going to go upstairs and place this down uh, over here where the ultimate energy cube is. Now you can see I've got some uh, machines here. They're different textures. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, this is the updated texture pack now. So Everything's looking better. Look at this energy cube looking looking fly. We've got some machines here. This is an ultimate uh, elite smelting factory. A crusher. We've got some more obs uh, osmium dust in there. Uh, enrichment chamber. So we use this for our osmium dust and our dirty uh, obsidian dust. Yep, that's it. And we're going to stick our thing here. Now, on the um, old text pack, it looked a bit like a metallurgic confuser, but I think here it looks much better. So I think that's the... Uh, that's the output, the two lines. We're going to get our infinite battery from here. That's still not done. Hmm, maybe I've got another infinite battery over here. Oh, I do, that's good. So we're going to use this infinite battery, put it in here, and there we go. So now it's filling up. It's going to have 100 mega joules in it. That's, that is so much in there. And the next thing we're going to need uh, to make is the ultimate battery. So I'm going to change the delf default texture pack. I'll be back with you guys. Um, hopefully this would be ready as well. I'll be back with you guys when I'm in that other texture pack. Okay, welcome back guys, we're on the day 4 texture pack now. Not looking as good as the Sfax, is it? But, oh well, we'll have to stick with this just for the moment. Uh, we're going to be making the ultimate battery, so for this we're going to need... Oh, this is a lot of big stuff here. We're going to need some high voltage alloy dust, I think we've got four in the chest. We need some two insulated uh, superconductors, which we've got here, that's good. Uh, we're also going to need... I can hear my gun turrets firing away there. We're going to need two uh, antimatter, 200 milligrams. We're going to need one strange matter, so it's quite expensive just for a battery. Now the this superconductor hasn't finished yet and it's been working for ages so I'm just going to leave that for a bit and we're going to go look for the other materials that we need. So we're going to need, let's see, some, uh, let's see, so we're going to need two of these, 200 milligram antimatter, we're going to need one strange matter, we're also going to need the four, there we go, we got it. Okay, so that's good. We've got every single material we need. And so we're going to go back up, use our power tool. Oh, hello. We're going to need to use our power tool and craft this baby. So we're going to need that like that. The corners will be high voltage alloy dust, and then like that. And there is our ultimate battery. Oh yeah. So the ultimate battery we're going to stick in here. Look, that's still filling up. Wow. We're going to fill this bad mad boy up, and it holds five mega joules. Now that's more than any other battery in the game. Uh, so that's that's a lot. <laughs> um, so I think this holds, let's have a look uh, so energy cube let's see so the basic energy cube can hold 5 megajoules so this can hold as much as a basic energy cube so yeah that's a lot uh, so we're gonna get this out now and we've got 5 megajoules there let's we'll stick this in here and keep that uh, and oh, I don't know why I put that in there okay yeah we're just gonna put it in the corner stuff we've made um, and we're gonna stick that there now then, uh, th I'm going to leave that thing going, uh, but that's most of the things in the episode we're going to be covering. But first things first, 
I don't know if you guys have noticed, but on my X map, when I click X, there's a little cube thing over there. Now, I'm going to go and show you guys what's go uh, happening over there. If I can get out of my door. Come on, door. Are you being serious? There we go. Th no! Okay, there we go. <laughs> right, and um, we're going to turn on our flight control and fly over to this base. Now, this is a nice little little place we're going to run over. And here we've got some camouflage so that... Um, oh, he just walked straight through. Oh, well. And we're going to go straight up. And here we have my little lookout place where next episode we're going to be coming to look at some other things in the assembly line mod so we've got the arm bot we've already looked at, the encoder which we've already looked at in earlier episodes but for the next episode we're going to be looking at the uh, detector which is this thing here and the rejector this thing here so yeah um, and we're also going to be looking at the imprinter as well to imprint things because you'll need that for the these two machines here but um, that'll be next episode so I'm going to kill this Spider, go away. There we go, look at that two hit. And turn my flight control on. Fly over here. This deuterium's going good. We've got a lot of stuff. Let's have a check. Look at that, five enriched uranium, uh, ten breeding uranium. That's really good. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I've been me, Mr. Foz HD. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the episode. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, if, if you've got any, any ideas or any things you want me to look at in vaults, then just leave a comment and I'll be sure to have a look at it and, well, make it um, happen in my next episode. So, once again, as I said, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Here we go. Getting up the hill now. There we go. We're up the... Ooh, there's some lights there. What's that? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my goodness. What the hell? I'm turning my render now. Turn my render distance down. Let's, oh my god, did you see that? What the hell? Major discovery, that's the name of this episode, Jesus.